Return of the floating bog. <laughs> we. Just going for it. Oh, that is quite deep actually. Welcome. Welcome back once again to the glorious Peak District. More specifically, Staffordshire, and even more precise than that, just over the back to the east of the Roaches. I'm here once again with my good friend Andy, and we're out for a bit of a wander today. We parked the cars earlier on at Flash, and the rough plan is, as we're doing now, walking down to the bottom of Hen Cloud, skip around the south side, up and over the top, over the Roaches, Ludge Church, and then we'll see how many sandwiches we've got left, and we might head to Three Shire Heads. It's going to be around about 12 or 13 miles, something like that. I'll let you know more details as and when we come to the end, but it's a nice day today. It's looking good. It was a bit brighter earlier on. Um, the sun's gone in a little bit now. It's a bank holiday weekend. There's hardly any people on this route we're doing now, but we can see plenty of people on Hen Cloud and plenty of people stomping across the top of the roaches. So we'll see what the day brings. I think it's boot wash time. Orange mud from the uh, the bog. That'll do nicely. Yeah, perfect. On, oh, mind you, straight back into the mud look. <laughs> this way. Lots of people heading up onto the roaches. Although we're heading this way first, down around the bottom of uh, Hen Cloud. We've now entered the forest, slowly weaving our way around. So it begins. We've left a little drive down there from Roaches Hall and uh, we're beginning the climb Kind of go off piece a little bit under these trees here and then we'll find a path it's a short and sharp climb but well worth it it's a sharp one Gets the heart rate up. Nice little scramble here. I'll try not to drop the camera. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost at the top. What a day, absolutely stunning. It's busy today in the Peak District. All the car parks are full, loads of people parking across the top of the road over there. Um, Luckily, there weren't that many people in Flash. That's why we chose to park there. But there's like a a, uh, <laughs> a snake of people heading up onto the roaches now. We're gonna try and um, find somewhere relatively quiet for lunch. But it's a beautiful day, so I'm not surprised there's a lot of people out. Perfect, one might say. Glorious. Five 
Nice little spot here in the shadow of the roaches for some lunch. Plenty of opportunities for some nice little scrambles up on the roaches. Yeah. Desolation. This is the damage that a barbecue can do. You may have seen the banner that I uh, included in the video, which is down at the base of the roaches there. I want to say it was last year, there was a huge fire along this part. And just up the top there, there's an iconic view. Looking back with the trees, the rocks jutting out, but now it's going to look very different. I believe, I'm not 100% sure that it was a barbecue or something like that. Um, just burnt this whole hillside and it looks to have burnt a lot of the moor just back from the edge as well. And he's just got a view ranger open trying to work out what uh, peaks we can see right in the distance there. Looks like it might be uh, Wales over that sort of direction and then uh, the Long Mind Shropshire down that sort of way. We can see Jodrell Bank Space Telescope just further down there, pointing directly upwards today. The mighty Shutlings low over there. Here we are, the top of the roaches. We're not going to bother lingering today. Far too many people. We're going to head past top of the roaches 505 meters according to the Garmin watch I've not checked view ranger but we're gonna head down roach end down to Ludd's church and if we're still feeling strong it's three shy heads time we can kind of see the little valley there where we have to walk up towards it but it's a beautiful day today it really is it makes a big difference to when Andy and I usually walk we walked on Friday absolutely throw it down but over the years threw it down rather um, over the years it's become a, a running joke really that every time we walk uh, it chucks it down so today is a very welcome um, surprise that it's nice although it was nice when we did Yosemite That's where we're going to be heading up to Three Shire Heads, and there's uh, Axe Edge Moor at the top there. But uh, it's a nice, gentle wander along here, um, past Roach End. We've left the crowds behind, which is good. But I imagine it's going to be quite busy down there at Lud's Church. It's hidden, but busy. Off we go. We are heading down into the woods now to find the top end of Ludd's Church. Here we go, down into the depths. I'm going to try not to slip to my death. We're in. Granted the easier entrance is just up here, but you've got to start from the top and work your way down. <laughs> Did you go in, mate? <laughs> right, so that's the easier bit in there, but you've got to start from the top, really. And 
and here we are, the main section of Lord's Church. Very busy, but you'd expect that. Absolutely spectacular. This is the downside about walking at the weekend. Since I changed jobs, I don't get any time off in the week. Get the place to yourself usually. But still good, still spectacular. You would not want to stumble across this place while walking through the forest, you really wouldn't. Because it's hidden. One minute you're walking through the trees, nice, lush, green, next minute. <laughs> It is usually the bog of doom. Usually um, you're up to your ankles in mud, but I've not been here for about three or four years, something like that. I think the last time I came was with Andy and it was throwing it down. But these boards here are welcome, um, a relief, because you'd have to contend with that usually. We just climbed out the other side. That was a short and sweet visit. So many people down there today, but as I was saying, to be expected. It's a bank holiday weekend, what can you do? Um, we're gonna head down to Gradback now. That's probably how you pronounce it, it might not be. Who knows? And then, three shy heads time. You feeling up for that, Andy? Yeah. Yeah, I've still got some sandwiches left. We're all good. The day is still young. We're heading downhill now from Lodge Church to the River Dane. Nice little bridge that goes over it. Um, in the past, I've turned right out of the bottom of um, Lodge Church and I've gone along and have to gone, had to go off piste down the hill. So we thought we'd turn left, double back on ourselves down this nice track here. Then it's the River Dane. We follow all the way up to Three Shire Heads. That used to be right, it? Fresh coffee, why not? Gradback Mill. Quick little drinks break over the river there. We're going to head back over towards the mill and then pick up the path to Three Shire Heads. Nice little car park there, people, for future reference. Busy today, though. The River Dane. Ten pounds a car. Struth. <laughs> Famously, I love a free parking space. I don't mind paying for parking when it's contributing to the upkeep of the area, but ten pounds a car. <sighs> Crikey. I'd just rearrange my walk and go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not a cheapskate. I'm not a cheapskate. We're now arriving at Three Shire Heads. And for those that don't know, it's the border between Cheshire, Staffordshire and Derbyshire. Shropshire. Three Shires. <laughs> not Shropshire. <laughs> I did say that on an earlier take, you know, when we're leaving Lud's Church, but I'll have cut that one out, definitely. <laughs> we're talking about Shropshire earlier on, the Long Mind, do you know what I mean? It's been a long day, but a good day. In fact, it's not really been that long. It's, um, the day is still young, it's only about five o'clock. We didn't set off until just before 12, so it's a medium length walk today. Also, to the people that I saw down at um, Grabback Mill in the queue for the little cafe there, nice to meet you. Didn't catch your names, um, but it's always nice to say hello to people that have watched the video. So if you do see me out, I'll be the, the smug looking guy with the ginger hair, the ginger beard, waving a camera around. Uh, come and say hello. Cheshire, Staffordshire, Derbyshire, the three shires. It really is a beautiful place. I knew we wouldn't get this place to ourselves today. Usually do midweek though. Midweek in winter is the perfect time to come. Time to clean the shoes and the legs.
we've now made a rather sharp exit from Three Shire Heads. Um, <laughs> no breeze down there whatsoever today. Very still. Loads of midges. Ridiculous. Um, not probably not the day for a bit of a wild swim. You might get a wild biting. Um, yeah, we stopped for a quick snack as fast as we could. Left. Almost like Scotland midge levels down there at the point. It is. It's looking a bit ominous over that way, but hopefully we'll be back at the car before anything happens. Bog tramping again now, up and over the hill to Flash. It's a nice climb out of the valley there. We're almost at the top. What a view. Amazing. Top of the roaches over there. We're now arriving back in Flash. And here we are back at the cars. It's been a really great walk today. I'll put some more details on screen now about the distance and elevation. I'll put a link to the map as well, Garmin, probably View Ranger, uh, maybe Strava, depending on what you fancy. There'll be some links in the description if you want to replicate what we've done today. Um, I've not seen you for months and months and months. Been a very busy year. I've been doing a lot without the camera, but it was nice to dust off the old Sony a7 and uh, get out once again and talk to you. So as always, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully it won't be as long until the next video. Normal service will resume. I'll get out of the road so I don't get hit. Um, and I'll see you all again, again very soon. Bye for now.